Hey kids, it's Mr. Fly here, hope you're well. What an absolutely beautiful day to be out on the motorcycle. Biking is a great thing, makes you feel really good, but if you're new to biking or you're thinking about taking it up, there's lots of things you should know. Some things that us bikers should come clean about. The things that they don't tell you about motorcycling. So stick around, stay tuned. Okay, so the first thing that you should know about motorcycling is that actually, it's a pretty, no, oh you fool. Well that's one thing you should know about motorcycling, people will absolutely ignore you. When you get onto a motorcycle, it's like you've turned a cloaking device on. So one thing that people say is it's dangerous, well biking per se isn't dangerous, but everybody else on the road is dangerous, so uh, yeah that's one thing for sure. But everybody tells you that anyway, this video is all about the things they don't tell you. So, the first thing I was going to tell you, <laughs> is that biking is actually pretty darn impractical for a number of reasons. First thing is if you jump on a bike and you go for a ride, basically that's all you can do, you jump yourself on the bike and you go for a ride. You just can't carry very much. So don't think about going shopping, don't think about uh, carrying anything on the bike, unless of course you get into the realms of things like top boxes and that is seriously uncool, particularly on a bike like this. So it's impractical because you can't carry much unless you've got a top box or panniers. Although of course you can always go the rucksack route, but then you're all trussed up. Talking of being all trussed up leads me to the second thing that's impractical about riding a motorcycle. Is that you do have to get all trussed up. Here I am looking like a cross between an astronaut and a power ranger. I'm so wrapped up you would not believe it. Not only have I got these rather fetching leathers on that you can see me wearing, But underneath, I'm wearing a, a base layer, a thermal base layer, and then got a mid layer on. Then I've got another layer over that. Over that, I've got a puffer jacket, and then I've got the leather jacket. So, that's all very well, it keeps you warm. Oh, and not to mention, I've got gloves that are plugged into a battery to keep my hands warm, because it's so flipping cold out here today. That's all very well if you're just going out to enjoy a nice bike ride like I am today and you've got plenty of time to spare because it takes you a good 15-20 minutes to get ready to go for a ride. But it's not okay if you just want to jump on the bike and go somewhere quickly. It's a right old faff. So one of the things they don't tell you about biking is yeah, you may look cool, you may look cool, I'm not sure I do. But my goodness me, going on a motorcycle for a ride and after that. Okay, so what else don't they tell you about motorcycling before you take the plunge? Well, a number of things really. Something that really surprised me was that motorcycling ain't cheap. Some people think, oh, he's on a motorbike, you obviously can't afford a car. Well, that may have been the case in the 1950s, but that is not the case today. The cost of a new motorcycle, particularly if you're going to go down the premium route like this, I'm riding a Tuono today, a factory V4 1100 factory. These things are 14 and a half, 15 grand brand new. By the time you got them spec'd up as you want them anyway. You could buy a pretty good car for that sort of price. Not to mention all well, the kit you got to buy, add another grand for that by the time you put in some heated gloves and boots and leathers etc. So it ain't a cheap option, don't, uh, don't let people tell you motorcycling's cheap because it's not. And again if you go for big bikes like this, litre class, they're not particularly fuel economic either. I'm lucky enough to own three cars and they all do better fuel economy than this bike does. Don't even get me started about insurance and servicing costs. Those two are more expensive on a bike like this. Don't get me wrong, you can do motorcycling cheaper. If you put your mind to it, you can buy a really old bike, maybe one that's not quite so desirable. But you're looking at, uh, you know, if you only want to spend a couple of grand, and you want something that's fun to ride, so we're talking at least, say, 600cc, then you're still looking at at least 2,000 quid if you go to eBay. 
for something that's going to be semi-reliable and then it's probably going to be six, ten years old. So that's another thing they conveniently keep quiet about is the fact that actually it's pretty expensive past time. So go into it with your eyes open. The next thing that uh, I thought motorbiking would be all about, but it turns out it isn't, and I've learnt this lesson the hard way with so many other things like uh, learning to fly an aeroplane, learning to play the guitar, driving sports cars. These are all things that I thought were guaranteed to get me lots of hot chick action, but frankly, <laughs> that don't happen when you ride a motorbike either. That might be something to do with the fact that I'm a wrinkly, balding 50-year-old, but uh, the women ain't going to flock after you because you're riding a motorbike, so get that out of your mind as well. All right, so if there's so much that uh, motorcycling's not going to do for you, what will it do for you then? Well, what I can tell you from personal experience, if you're sensible about it and you ride carefully, you're not an idiot on the roads, motorcycling will greatly enhance your life. Even on a day to like today, it's just off freezing, it's the middle of winter, but it's an absolutely glorious day to be out. Motorcycling will make your life better. It's exciting, it's fun, it takes you places you probably wouldn't otherwise go, you meet some great people, and best of all, it makes you feel fantastic. Motorcycling is a great pastime. That's what motorcycling can do for you. So if you're thinking maybe about getting into motorcycling, if you're having a bit of a midlife crisis, let's face it, so many people get into motorcycling later on in life, then I wholeheartedly encourage you to do so. It's a brilliant pastime. I really love being out on my bike. These days there's so many bikes to choose from of different types, sports bikes, naked hooligan bikes like this one, classic bikes, whatever you want, there's a bike out there for you. I absolutely encourage you to take it up, it's a brilliant pastime, it will make you feel great. And that's what's so good about biking, and that's what it, what it will do for you. Alright, that's all I've got to say on that subject, hope that's been of some interest, look forward to speaking to you again soon. Until then, this has been the Mist and Fly, cheerio.